So something you can do with this is do a bar at a time. Uh, sometimes doing that, you can just push yourself further. Doing both bars, even though it's not very long, could have a risk of fatiguing your mind when you're doing it. Well, or at least more of a risk of doing that, I mean, fatiguing your brain doing both bars instead of just doing one at a time. So, you know, up to you if you want to break it in half or not. But, uh, yeah, let's see how fast you can get it this week. And we'll do the same thing. Once you have three days in a row, you can't get any faster, then we'll do something else. But, uh, do the usual speed demo here. One, two, three, four. stuff here. So this one you're working on naming this guy. So use your uh, use that sheet I, the, that PDF I gave you that explains the different types of suspended chords we're using in this major key here. So for these last three, just remember you're gonna make sure you identify where the third interval is within this chord shape. See if there is more than one third interval being used. Sometimes that happens. And then you're just going to raise that third interval up to the very next note and key to make it its suspended four counterpart. Same thing here. You're going to identify where the flat third is and raise it up to the next note and key. And you will also find the flat third in the B diminished chord and raise that up to the next note and key. You're going to have to be careful on naming this one. We've got a flat five being used because it is diminished, so that's very important in the naming of the chord. So if any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again Monday for me, Tuesday for you.